Warning. This video contains spoilers for the Assassin's Creed series. Continue at your own discretion. I love Ket. What did Cassandra do for 2,400 years? Did she continue to scissor herself across the world? Did she stalk all of her descendants? Or did she sit in her cave for a few millennia and kept the same hairstyle? In this video, you'll find out. As seen in Valhalla, she did travel to other countries and learn other languages. So she did not sit in a cave the whole time. Jeez, that must have been a hell of a lot of language to learn in uh, 2400 years. So Cassandra did go out every now and then, and did more than buy a suit. And we could see her appear in future games, since they already had her appear in Valhalla, and in Egypt centuries after the events in Odyssey. Cassandra spent most of her time tracking down pieces of Eden. Over the years, Cassandra devoted herself tracking down Isu artifacts throughout the world, similar to the ones she found in Greece. In each area she visited, she would not remain for long in order to prevent herself from attracting attention or making bonds. Between the 1st century BCE and the 9th century CE, she became acquainted with the Hidden Ones, a group co-founded by her descendant Amunet and her husband Bayek to protect humanity and fight the Order of the Ancients by preventing them from using pieces of Eden. Sharing their goals, Cassandra was even given their signature weapon, a hidden blade or a relation with the Hidden Ones. Cassandra is able to wield the Hidden Blade and still have all of her fingers. As we know from AC1, and even with Basim and Valhalla, the Assassins had to cut off their ring finger to wield a Hidden Blade. So how could Cassandra wield a Hidden Blade without cutting off her finger? Yeah, interesting. You knowing she has the Hidden Blade three centuries or more before Altair created the Hidden Blade that did not require the finger sacrifice. Who did Cassandra meet along the way? She could have met Altair, since there are big gaps in Altair's history us the players didn't get to see, and also because Altair had an apple for most of his life. Since she was tracking down Isu artifacts, she may have gone to Masiev to see if the rumors were true that there was a man that possessed an Isu artifact. If the rumors were true, and if she needed to intervene, Cassandra could have been alright with Altair keeping the apple, as he was doing good with it. Advancing the assassin's technology and not using it to control people. Will she end up meeting Basim in AC Mirage? Most likely Basim will come into contact with an Isu artifact that will give Loki a grip over him. Will Cassandra meet Basim? I think not. I feel they're trying to wrap up and connect the last three games together and move on, with Cassandra having DLC missions in Valhalla and also the one in Egypt. If Cassandra meets Basim, it'll just end up being strange if she never met all the other Assassin's Creed protagonists. Now, did she end up meeting all the prototype assassins? I feel the potential is higher as she's already met Darius, and she comes into contact with hidden ones at some point since she gets given a hidden blade. So she might have met some other ones. Maybe she'll meet Wei Yu in Codename Jade, since Codename Jade takes about, what, 200 years after Odyssey or so? So that's possible. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to check out some of my other videos on the channel, and I'll see y'all later. The new mobile app.
Cassandra Scissor Spree is available now on all smartphone devices.